Hey guys, what is up? It is Friday, finally. So, quick update. Um, finally can tell you guys about what I'm working on here, so that's cool. Uh, but only a brief overview. So, what I'm working on here at NASA for my internship is speech recognition. And basically just trying to integrate that into a larger project that my mentor has uh, currently been working on. So, right now I just got a little demo of a just got a little demo of a robot being controlled with speech. Um, can't show that just yet. Gonna ask my mentor if I can get a little video clip of that because that's pretty cool stuff. Um, but I do have some more cool things to show you guys because I got all the videos I took at the VAB approved through export control. And the VAB, you might not know, is uh, the vehicle assembly building. That's where they construct the rockets, the shuttles, the Apollo missions. Everything's gone through the VAB. It's just massive building. Uh, you see it everywhere whenever you're looking up stuff about NASA or if there's any sort of big images, you know, iconic images about NASA. Or the VAB is always, you know, in one of those pictures. Um, you'll definitely recognize it once I show it to you. It was in the last video too, just out the corner, um, next to the LLC, LCC4, Launch Control Center 4. Uh, big huge building with the NASA symbol and the American flag on it. So I'm thinking now you probably know what I'm talking about. So you're going to get to see some of that. And also, uh, just a quick overview of what I'm also going to have on this channel. Uh, so. Really, I'm looking to just do more vlogging for right now while I'm in Florida because I don't have access to a whole lot of tech, as you can tell from my iPhone vlogs I got going on here. And yeah, these are being shot from my iPhone, so I don't have any cameras or anything because those are kind of tricky to get all the way across the country and then bring back home with me, especially a nice one um, when I have limited packing space. Um, so gonna be having like you know some gameplays and just other stuff that I'm interested in uh, as the weeks go by so you can look forward to that if the vlogs don't interest you as much so definitely do stay tuned gonna be a lot of changes in my channel here in a two or three more weeks um, and today as well let's see gonna take a take a quick walkthrough of one of the uh, really cool places that I get to go go see every day here not really a place it's just a really cool doorway uh, it is the, well, I'll tell you more about it when I show it to you um, here in just a second. Okay, so right here is the doorway I wanted to show you guys. You might notice that there are all these little stickers that go all the way around it. That is because this is the last doorway that the astronauts going on the shuttle flights or the rocket flights will pass through on the way to launch pad. So each of those stickers is a sticker of a badge from a space flight. Uh, most of them are shuttle badges. Um, there's a, still a few, I think, from the Apollo days. Um, I'm not gonna go through them all though. Uh, but just really cool to get a walk through this every day on my way to work, because I work just inside these doors, uh, a little bit down to the hallway to the left. So yeah, just a neat little bit of history. Thought it might interest you. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing that. Um, just a cool door that I get to go through every day on my way to work. Uh, now for, I hope you like the VAB videos that are coming up next. Um, those, I really had a fun time walking through the VAB, honestly. Um, I think you'll like it a lot too. There was so much more that I got to see inside there than just what I had videos of. Um, those are just the places that I was allowed to record at. Uh, we also got to see the Columbia wreckage inside there. They have that on the 16th floor and just all the pieces that they found of the Columbia are laid out in there and whew, some pretty powerful stuff walking through there and uh, hearing about you know what all happened and why there wasn't a huge jump into action that you know NASA had when the Apollo 13 you know the oxygen tank blew up and the Apollo 13 capsule caught on fire it's just really great you know a bit of history to learn right there and mistakes were made and Really, really great learning uh, opportunity that I had, you know, just getting to go through uh, the VAB with and get to experience that as well. A ah, little bit of rambling there. Um, now, next thing that I'm gonna have uh, over the weekend is uh, Mike Pence, you might've heard, he visited NASA a couple weeks ago, uh, maybe about a month ago now, but I actually got to be in the crowd and I got to see him talk and give his highly scripted speech on the things he doesn't know about NASA. Uh, it was kind of cool just to see the vice president. I don't like him as a person, honestly. I really don't agree with his policies. Definitely, um, 
yeah, just I just don't really like him as a person, but it's just cool to see someone who's that powerful in the United States. Um, and getting to see Buzz Aldrin talk as well, that was great. I really do admire Buzz Aldrin. I uh, didn't get a picture with him or Mike Pence, unfortunately, just for posterity rights. Um, and also, you know, they were swarmed by tons of people. You'll see this weekend just how many people were there and everybody wanted to meet Mike Pence, wanted to meet Buzz Aldrin, wanted to meet the senators that were there. It, it was insane. Uh, so you'll get to look forward to that uh, coming up pretty soon. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the videos I took of the VAB and just tell me what you thought of them down below. And yeah, have a good one. Hey guys, so first off the bat, I apologize for the vertically shot video, uh, not my best work, but eh, do what you can. Uh, so starting off, right here you'll see the high bay, one of four of them actually. Um, now these are really cool because they are where the shuttles would be attached to their fuel tank and to the rocket boosters, and it's where they're going to build the SLS system, which is the new newest rocket, and it's where they're going to attach the two side boosters onto that as well. So the way they do that is they have a platform that they have the rocket and the shuttle and whatever else resting on and that platform gets lifted up by a crawler. And uh, you'll see in this video uh, there's this huge open space underneath the uh, underneath the bay oh, platforms I guess you would call them. And that's where the crawler would slide in and then the platform rests on top of it. Uh, both of which though are absent in this hangar bay. They wouldn't let me take a video of the one that had the crawler in it because uh, NASA rules. Uh, now moving on to the crane and a better shot of one of the partially open doors. So these cranes can lift about a half a million tons. There are some huge, huge strong cranes. and. An uh, interesting little test to make the operators do is you have to be able to, uh, okay, so they have an egg and they put an egg down at the bottom underneath one of these cranes and you have to be able to drop the hook for the crane and touch the egg without breaking it and then raise the crane back up. Yeah, pretty hard, huh? And so you have to be able to coordinate with someone on the ground because you obviously cannot see the egg when you're at the top of the VAB. Uh, it takes a lot of work to be home with these crane operators. It's impressive. Now up here you'll see that we're a little bit higher up and there's a wire kind of fence around us. Uh, this is the 32nd level and it's probably the highest that we, anyone can get in the VAB unless you're a construction worker or you're working on one of the shuttles. Uh, so you get an awesome view of the just how tall the building is. Um, we also got to go up on the roof and you'll see that here. So the roof was really cool. It was also really windy up there. Uh, apparently it'd be like up to a 10 mile an hour difference in the wind speed based on if you're at ground level or on the roof of the VAB. Uh, but oh my goodness, the view is just gorgeous up here. It was beautiful. Uh, we took tons of pictures, did lots of posing, uh, just had a great time up there. And you hardly ever get to go up there. They don't let anyone up on the roof except maintenance workers usually. Um, they don't like people going up there because it's I don't know, not safe and it's just you know roof tile up there. There's no actual floor. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, leave a like below, comment, subscribe, tell me what you thought, and have a good one.